the line's incredible. It's supposedly uh, in the car experience. I don't think you get out, so I'm here waiting. Okay. Might be go time. I got $20 cash if you'll take it easy on me. I promise I will, but okay. you ain't gotta pay me. Oh, what's that, the nasal? No, uh -huh, both of them are nasal. I gotta do two different nasal ones? Mm-hmm. Damn. They said you asked for the regular No, I wanted just the, the antibody test and the and the, just the nasal swab. So you want both rapids? Yeah. All right, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the uh, rapid swab and get you to park over there and okay. I'm gonna come back out and I'll get the rapid antibody, okay? okay? And when I come towards you, hold your breath as I swab each one, okay? Okay, tell me Run. when. Right, right All right. That's it. All right. Give me just a minute. I'll come and get your wrapped right. up. Thank you. You're welcome. Wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad. You all right? I'm, yeah, I mean, I can't. How far am I from the fence? I can't. <laughs> it's odd. My buddy Josh Boatner, I went to middle school with, is in front of me getting a rapid test. Dude, she was, <laughs> dude I like them. Yeah, they are. I wish I had a, uh, here, get, if you want this one, so I wore a couple times. No, I appreciate it. Them Richardson's are good hats, man. Yeah, that's the only one out. Let me see your ring finger. I th let me try to see what we got with this, okay? Okay. Negative. Okay, okay awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. I'm good to go. Thank yes, you, ma'am. Negative. Negative. Pulling out of the Medicaid, Medicare now. Headed to get my dog. Headed to Mississippi. Thank goodness I'm negative. It's a good day. Coming in here Mississippi style, straight to the co-op. Gonna get us a pallet of corn. Head to camp. Be there in time. Hopefully whack us a deer this afternoon. It, it's, it's got, it's, it'll hold. Does it slide out? No, it's attached in there. there do we, you don't think you get on there and just slide it back? Get on them rails? Yeah. You don't think it's going to mess that up, dude. I don't know. We'll try it. You can see how we get it on there, man. <laughs> Check that out right there, 2,000 pounds right here on the deck lid. Just a drawer pull away. Ready to get to camp now. I'm going to the throne. I'm a, I'm a dethrone something. Maybe myself. Yeah. <laughs> but something's gonna get dethroned. <laughs> Big deer is on camera yesterday, what, five? Five, right oh, at five. Spartan yeah. in the food plot. Yeah, yeah. So, hey. I feel it. I do too. Yeah. This, we're down to the, this is, Possibly the last episode of Hunt Club right here for the year for deer hunting. Not putting any pressure on you. Really? Well, yeah, but I, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Yeah. Buddy, what you think? Going all firepower tonight. Whew. I was struggling, but I, I, hey, I'd rather struggle early than late. Yeah, I agree. There we go. Well, it's late in the brother. year. Good luck, buddy. Whack and stack. Got everything I think I need. Shooting sticks, rifle, camera. Backpack. Here we go. Oh yeah. Kicking this Mississippi trip off where me and Truvy ended the last one. Actually hunting the food plot that my deer died by that I killed with a bow a few weeks ago. The rut's over. Hopefully these deer will be coming to some grain. Look at that big old gorgeous backwoods attraction food plot. for the next few hours. Don't look like nobody's been home for a while. I don't see no wasp or nothing. Got one in the chamber, two in the clip. 
alert right there. Well, that ain't looking good for the home team here. Possibly saw one big doe and three fawns for sure. Slow afternoon. I have not heard Truvy shoot, but as far as the deer, the whooping from Alabama has done come to Mississippi. Maybe tomorrow. Well, this is it. The last hunt here at Truvy's. Hard to believe it's coming to an end here. But going in, same spot I was this morning, didn't see anything. Truby is back on the food plot where actually a good eight pointer showed up during the night. We got Caleb here in camp too, so maybe between the three of us, somebody can get something down. Here we go again. And we're hoping we're gonna find us a dumb one this afternoon, but it's getting down to the to the wire, fellas. It is almost time. I don't know if you can see them down at the end, but they got a pile of turkeys. All right, y'all. Hopefully I, I have something shot when we come back. Well, I hate goodbyes, but it is a goodbye to Rattlesnake Hill for me and Old Bandit. But my, my good buddy Perry Ross, who I hadn't seen in probably over a year, me and him were just happened to be texting. And so I'm taking my corn and my dog and headed north to meet up Perry Ross. Man, me and Perry go way back. And it's actually the first time I met Perry would have been, I was filming Bill Jordan. I was 17 years old, just out of high school. It's been almost 20 years. One of my favorite all-time hunts I ever videoed was I video Perry at, uh, in Alabama. I mean, it was intense. He come up right and finna jump on his decoy. I said, well, I knew the gig was up then, so I give him them fives. I could have hit him with my gun barrel. And when the bird comes in and hides himself plumb behind his decoy, and I got to thinking, I said, well, this bird's going to gonna fly with me. Done it in style. Ain't nothing like it, boy. This looks like turkey country. Yeah. You got the turkey. The Perry Ross. I like you. You got some scruff going. How you doing, bro? See, I'm good. I'm COVID free. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. What's up, buddy? How you, you know doing? Yeah. How you been? Yeah. That's Bandit. Come here and meet everybody. Come here, bud. Come on. He's slow now. He's a... How old is he? Four and a half. Come on in, buddy. <laughs> What's up, bud? He's a pretty dog. There's a double main beam deer in here. Too. Double he main beam? Double main beam. He needs killing. Okay. I'm gonna take you down here where you, cause we, there's, you're seeing him cross this road in the evening, it's a highway. G coming and going either way. But listen, Philip, when you're sitting in this, it's called a cypress stand. I'm not gonna drive my weapon, I'm gonna let you out. You walk down to it. it was straight out the front of that thing is a lane, it's got water in it. That guy had him come out up there and he wasn't paying no damn attention and the deer was standing out in it looking across and he turned he wouldn't shoot him up the that's the best shot he could have shot him. 
and a deer walking up the lane never turns off. So. Hey, you know me. Oh, we, and I, <laughs> we just need a bullet in him. I've known Perry since I was 17. I'm 35 now. I ain't quick on math, however far that is, but this is the first time I've seen him carry a gun. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be carrying one, but I ain't seen that make me want to carry one. Until <laughs> now. <laughs> Like the door handle. Oh yeah, look at this thing here now, Taj Mahal. And this is a good sign, this is what you want to see when you come to a box blind. Looks like there's been some action here in the past. Maybe we can add to the count. Super excited, don't know really what to expect, except just if it's something that's mature, kill it. Very sad that his buddy had seen a really good deer in here the other day and he crossed this lane right here on the other side of this little wet marsh area, this little swamp. It uh, got, actually looks like he's got two feeders going, but Mississippi, you can you can hunt over corn that's coming out of a feeder, so that's what we're doing. Ain't no telling what may show up, but I'll be ready for anything. Him up. Okay. I've seen that double bay bean deer. And He's just young. He looks like it ain't the same deer that I've seen. That I, I, I think it's deer ain't but two or three year old. Really? Yeah. Well, no luck. Maybe more. And this time, P. Ross is going to have a GoPro. That's the uh, hunt club rookie status. Camera. Maybe I can make you. Even though you're a senior member, that's the, that's all I got. That's all I got for you to work with. Hopefully, between the two of us, we can get this big deer down. What are we gonna call this deer? Gotta have a name. Call him Eight Ball. Eight Ball. On Highway Eight. Highway Eight. Eight Ball. The hunt for Eight Ball continues. We got a day and a half of season left. We Maybe gotta... we can get it done. And shows up. Yeah. Me or you, either one. Yeah. But if something comes in there that's mature, we can bust him or Oh cold. yeah. Yeah, okay. he ain't the only one. Eight ball and friends. This is the eight ball and friends, huh? Yep. Well, Q ball may show up. Yeah, Q <laughs> ball gonna show enough to get white. Well, thought I was gonna be smart and get in here before the deer got here, but I don't look like it. We had two deer on the plot before I got as I was coming in. Phillips down the river about a mile. Hopefully we can get something done this afternoon. Got a deer we after called eight ball, but maybe we'll get him. Big old body sucker. He just come across the lane there. I could have killed him, but I was just testing my time there as far as getting up on him. Well, it's official. We are down to the last day to try to make it happen. Perry 
I didn't hear him shoot, so the only thing I've heard cracking off is a few boys down there on the river shooting a little bit late this evening for some dogs. But had a little bit of a roost shoot tonight, but me and Perry have not fired a shot. Hopefully Mr. Greenpants ain't waiting at the at the dock for him. Alright, well, this is it. We have we have redone our approach. We've done change plans twice today. And finally it's taken till the last day. Perry has finally put me in a honey hole. Well you know what? We ain't got to, we ain't got to make no decision after today. No, for this is the while. last decision made for till to, yeah. I said what how many pizzas we want to cook tonight. Good luck. Good luck, you. buddy. All right. All right. Maybe this is it. Hit it in here on the old power line. Power line stand. Got two food plots planted. Backwoods attraction. These deer have absolutely demolished them. Looks like a dang putting green. This is it right here. This is the end. The season will be over. A few hours. Like a little bunker. Sniper hood. Cause man, you can air one out here. Pretty tight quarters. Just, just looking at the trail cam pictures and what these deer are doing. There's just so many deer in there before daylight, and there ain't a whole lot going on till really one, two o'clock till dark. So, so that's the reason we got in here so early now. It's just now. Just now noon, so got about six hours till dark. The last day. Can't hold anything back now, Cotton. These deer have absolutely murdered this plot. There ain't hardly nothing left. They've got it all laid down. Which means they're here. of the season. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen here in the next few minutes. Smokes. Oh, it took a while, but I think we got us a big old nanny. We just something about these Mississippi deer bring it down to the last possible day and last minutes of the hunt. But I think it got her. Yes, what a way to end the season. Heck yes, I think it got her. Big old sucker. Blood. Stuff in this stuff. Oh, I saw something up here. Hang on. Yes! There she is. <laughs> get through the thicket. Big old sucker. Look at this. Heck of a big old nanny. What about that? 
Look at this right here. The boat head. And what a way to end the season. I can promise you. I'm gonna quarter her up, take her back to Georgia. What a way to end it for hunt club for the deer season portion with a big old nanny. Look at the head on this rascal. She had me tied knots. I think this was the same group of deer that came out behind me and I couldn't get turned around. But past few days have been incredible. Just spending good time with buddy Truvy, spending time with buddy Perry Ross, who I hadn't seen in over a year since before I came down here, being able to stay healthy and let the good Lord just present a shot with this big old nanny and put some meat in the freezer for the off season. And Oh man, I'll tell you, it never gets old. It don't matter if it's a big old boat headed doe, if it's somebody's first deer, if it's bow hunting a big old buck, it's just, it never gets old. Thank the good Lord for the passion to do it. And to everybody out there who watched Hunt Club, I know all the guys back home mean the same thing. Thank you so much for the support, for y'all following the journey. We've been showing it like it is and the good, the bad and the ugly. And thankfully afternoons like this is the good stuff. It's easy to show. The bad stuff kind of sucks sometimes having to show it, but we show it like it is. And we got some skin to do tonight. As soon as you think the season has ended with the best bang it could, we got a Tommy topper. <laughs> so what happened? Is that your first one, baby? It's second. 